All right, guys, welcome back. I'm Tyus with Mid Valley Mercenaries. I got my uh, partners in crime here. I got Talon behind the camera, and I got Travis over here in the background. So today, we're gonna go over the pattern test. End of July, probably a little early to be doing this, but I'm in the duck season mode. I wanna get this done. Before we get started, guys, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Now, this is, this is the thing. I'm gonna go in a little detail on this real quick, okay? I'm gonna shoot heavy metal because I got the Kicks High Flyer and they, everybody says that is the shell to shoot through that. I know it's a little bit more pricey, but guys, if you wanna take the birds down, and you can shoot a little bit, which matters, right? You gotta be able to shoot. Then they say that is what you wanna use. So anyways, I've got, I'm gonna compare my factory choke to the Kicks High Flyer Modified. So what I got in here is if it's steel, it's modified. If it's lead, it says improved modified or cylinder. I'll write up here on the screen. I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it's improved cylinder. So anyways, that's one thing I've noticed, and I've did it myself, is had the wrong choke in and comparing the wrong thing. And I've noticed in a lot of comments, I've noticed, um, you know, not in just comments, but just reading like testing results and all that stuff, how people are saying you're comparing the wrong choke. So I'm doing it right today, guys. I'm getting the right choke in there for the right test and results. So I got my Browning A5 with that choke in that is exact same, same when it compares to steel. And uh, I showed you guys, I'll pop it up on the screen, what I'm shooting, a three inch, four shot, heavy metals. And uh, we got down there, if you want to want to pick up the target down there, we have a four foot by four foot uh, piece of paper with the center mark on there. So it's basically over 30 inches and that's what they, they want. So we're gonna have that down there. Here's the thing, this is where it's gonna get upsetting to everybody. I know they're gonna throw a big fit. Why don't you do, you not need to do five or whatever, actually, it's, I believe it's nine is what it says in the real test results, how to really get a perfect pattern. But guys, I already know this gun shoots and I've shot these head metals, done these pattern tests. For now, I already know what it's gonna do, but I just wanna see, count the BBs and pellets inside of that 30 inch circle. So uh, without further ado, I don't think I got anything else to say. Let's get started. All right, here we go. This is the factory choke. Kicks like a mule. All right guys, let's go check it out and see. What we got here, we'll uh, do the count later, but I just give a quick glimpse before we switch and shoot the kicks high flyer. Decent center mass, but then you got oh empty spots, huh? See I don't even know if you there. can see that in the camera because the, the, the sun. Angle. It's a bad time of day. You should be doing it when the sun's on the other side. But all right, guys, now I'm switching to the kicks high flyer modified. I don't know if you can see that if it's focused or not. We'll do some close up, close up shots, whatever. But it's extended choke, obviously. Uh, stay right there. Don't move. Browning A5 is in Vector DS, but uh, anyways, uh, let's see here. So lead is improved cylinder in this choke and still is modified. So there you go. I don't know if you can even see that. If you can, it's fine. I'll pop some other pictures up. And now we got the modified, which they say Kicks High Flyers were made for steel. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. And they say, I don't know. I haven't shot this choke tubes yet. They say this one is great with the heavy metal. So let's go ahead and shoot it. All right, here we go. Kicks high flyer. All right, let's go get it. This tells right now if we're sending this choke back or if uh, we're keeping it. Travis has to go like a little girl and look at it before everybody. <laughs> That's tough doing a pattern with only one shot each. That's all the paper. We only got a, one, two pieces of paper to do this, but let's go count. That's what really matters. All right, guys, this is the factory choke. It didn't look too bad at first, but so there's 129 BB, I'll just call it BBs, inside of this 30 inch circle. And you, what you do, you don't draw the 30 inch circle till after. So you draw after you shoot, then you get the heaviest, densest part of the pattern. And then you make your 30 inch circle. As you can see, it's a little rough because we were using a piece of string to get that 30 inches, but 129 with the factory choke modified out of my Browning A5 with the heavy shot three inch, heavy metal three inch four shot. 129, that don't sound too bad, right? But look at, here's the thing though, look at this. Look at all these big gaps in this pattern. Yeah, big gaps. We'll do it on the other one too. I'm not trying to say one's way better than the other, but you just got these really big, look at this one. So you got huge, to me are huge holes. I mean, if that was a till, I've shot before and you think, oh man, I, how did I miss? I seen BBs go all around it. 
but uh, a little dense. I don't know. You can see my patterns off to the left a little bit by about three or four inches. But I'd say it's actually pretty centered up and down. I always thought my gun shot a little bit low, but maybe not. Because it's I got the same result on the other one. So let's go over to the kicks. High flyer modified. I got the numbers not revealed to you yet. This is this is huge, guys. Huge difference. I was shocked on the number count, but I knew right when I started counting that other one, it wasn't even close. 178. So you got 129 over there with the factory, and you got 178 on. A 30 inch circle and if you can look and I'll go ahead and draw some out I mean you got little little gaps there's still some little bit of a little bit of gap but not much got a little bit right here maybe I don't know if you want to be technical I'm trying to not sound leaning on one side or the other but just the fact that you got 50 more BBs inside of one circle a 30 inch circle than you do the other one that's pretty huge guys and that's what the kicks high flyer modified so as the breeze picks up and I get more frustrated <laughs> that it's blown this paper everywhere, I think we can all agree on that this is pretty good. Now I could go shoot some other um, uh, shells out of it, I'm sure, and get some other things going on, but maybe you'd do it with the dry locks. I don't know. I'm just saying, what do you think, Travis? That's a huge difference. Don't you agree? Yeah, man. I mean, it's got to put an order in or something. More BBs so, be a, be a big so, difference between you know killing killing that uh, special hybrid that you were shooting at versus missing them and it keeps on flying because we all done it where you shoot that shot you know what I'm saying like you said right feathers fly off and you're like how did I miss that bird yeah well, if he's only getting hit by two or three BBs and he's flying through one of those zones I mean that's gonna make a huge difference versus 50 more like you said 50 more BBs in that pattern just for this test yeah that's I mean that's pretty significant Talon do a quick just scan or scroll back out and look at these two side by side so everybody can see. So kicks on the left, factory choke on the right. I'm not complaining about my factory choke. I've always done well with it. But if I can get more pellets or BBs, whatever you want to call it, on target in a 30 inch circle, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, but you know it's gotta be even. If we if we don't all shoot one, then what we're gonna hear is Ty say, "Oh, I hit that one. I hit that one," which is, hey, that's funny you say that. Anyways, <laughs> that's funny you say that because somebody just said in one of the comments, "You're a bird claimer," <laughs> and and I said. You got it right. I said, pray for me. I have a problem. Yeah, then when you're like, what you got your shot cam, you're like, well, we're going to review the footage. Oh, man. Now, it's like see, instant replay, like the NFL. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, it takes more time in the field, but then you got it. So no one can argue. And I promise you, I've claimed several birds that I did not hit because I had the shot cam. I can tell the other guy. In fact, that happened on one of our videos. You can check it out here. <laughs> Talon, you can see in the video who hit it. But anyways, so pray for me, guys. I'm a bird claimer. He was exactly right. You can't fight against someone that agrees with you, right? So anyways, guys, hopefully you like this. Hopefully it helps you decide what you want to get. Now, if you don't want to shoot heavy metals i'm sure you're like i don't want to shoot those i don't want to spend the money but i don't mind buying a kicks high flyer or maybe you already have it comment down below what choke you guys like or what you think about the heavy metal shells um it costs money though everyone's like do this shell do this shell yeah i'd love to besides the fact i'm soaking wet we're all sweating out here it's supposed to be 110 today out here in california so anyways uh hope this helped you out i know it helped me i was doing it already anyways to for the season so this kind of confirmed my speculations. It's one thing reading it about on a forum somewhere, and it's a whole nother thing seeing it for yourself. So we got more coming. Uh, might wait till it's a little bit cooler and not this hot. So hope you guys enjoy this. I hope it helps you out. We'll see you next time.